Hi, Ishbel here to talk to you about uh, dry skin, fine lines, and wrinkles. Um, in my skincare 101 video, I went through the counter time regimen um, as my example for a skincare regimen because I happen to have dry skin and fine lines, and so um, that was the regimen that I used. Um, but let me tell you a little bit about the Beauty Counter Counter Time line. So this line is verified by the Environmental Working Group. Um, to be what's called EWG verified is really difficult grade to get. Um, so it's quite impressive that they've been able to achieve that and produce these really remarkable results. So. The counter time line um, has a combination of Bacchuli and Swiss Alpine Rose in it. And the combination of those two ingredients is what Beauty Counter refers to as Retinatural. So Retinatural is kind of the, the response or the um, alternative to Retinol. If you look on the Environmental Working Group's website, you'll see that retinol is graded as being highly toxic. It's not good for your health. It's not good for your endocrine system. So I would highly suggest to you that you find another option. Um, the counter time line um, includes a cleansing oil, a hydrating toner that's more like a milk. Um, the hydrating essence, they call it. It is a lovely product packed with nutrition for your skin. Um, the tripeptide radiance serum um, is, uh, again, has that retinatural combination in it. Um, highly nourishing, just brings uh, nutrition straight to your skin so that it can be really easily absorbed. And the antioxidant soft cream, this could be used during the day um, to help protect your skin from the environment, wind, cold, um, you know, especially temperature changes can have a really big impact on fine lines, particularly the cold. So getting a really good, strong um, moisturizer in place is, is really important. Uh, the Tetra Peptide Supreme Cream, I'll show you what that looks like. It's just this super, super thick, delicious cream. I always say it's like whipped butter. It's delightful. Can put that on at night. Helps to support the skin's uh, rejuvenation and just feels so amazing. So that would be kind of the base regimen for dry skin uh, with fine lines or wrinkles. Um, and again, has that retinatural impact on it. So you're really gonna see a big difference in the plumpness of your skin and the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. I would also suggest the Lotus Glow Cleansing Balm. Um, this is a hybrid product, so you can use that as a cleanser, as a mask, as a moisturizer. I love this stuff. It gives your skin this beautiful glow. You can use it on other areas of your body, like if you've got dry elbows or dry hands. At night, I'll oftentimes put it on over top my counter time regimen. So I'll do all the products in the counter time regimen and then I'll also bring the Lotus Glow over top and I'll just sleep with it on. So I'm really kind of packing that um, hydration in. Um, the C Serum and the Resurfacing Peel are so helpful for dry skin and fine lines. Uh, the resurfacing peel is gonna help increase that cellular turnover, which is really important when it comes to fine lines and wrinkles. The C Serum helps to brighten dark spots, age spots, um, and it helps to give the skin that really vibrant uh, look. Um, packed with vitamin C, these two products together are match made in heaven. They work really, really well. Um, if you have dry skin, you know what it's like. You can feel like your, <laughs> can feel almost like your skin is turning a little bit papery and you can feel like, you can literally feel those skin cells kind of packing one on top of the other. Um, and so that resurfacing peel makes a huge difference. You'll get a really nice smooth um, feel to your skin. 
I love, love, love that stuff. Charcoal facial mask. I'll use this once a week. I wouldn't use it more often than that, especially if you're doing the resurfacing peel. Um, if you're doing the resurf, if you're not doing the resurfacing peel, you could do the charcoal mask twice a week. Okay, but if you're doing the resurfacing peel, I would only use the mask once a week. Okay, and then lastly, with that resurfacing peel, one other thing, you want to use this every other night. All right, that's a good good amount of time. Um, I would also really suggest uh, the um, oils, facial oils for dry skin or wrinkles. Sometimes, you know, especially when the weather's changing, you'll notice that your dry skin gets even more dry or those fine lines and wrinkles really start to become more pronounced. Um, Beauty Counters facial oils have received so many awards, including from Allure, who picked them as their best beauty award. Um, and this is just a really nice add-on to your regimen. I would put the facial oil on after the serum. So you would go cleanser, toner, serum, facial oil, moisturizer. And then lastly, SPF is a, you got to do it, non-negotiable um, when you've got fine line and wrinkles. So 90% um, of aging on the skin is due to the sun. So to help prevent any further damage to your skin, to help prevent any further signs of um, aging, you've got to go with the SPF. I highly recommend Beauty Counters SPF uh, because it is good for the ocean. It's not going to be polluting the ocean. They're finding that sunscreen is killing the uh, barrier reef. Um, skin, uh, excuse me, um, SPF is also really traditionally made. SPF is really bad for your health, bad for your endocrine system. So um, Beauty Counters SPF works well. It's waterproof. Um, and again, it's not going to have those same um, health implications that traditional SPFs have. All right. So that'll do it. Uh, if you have questions, please, please be sure to reach out. Send me an email. We can book a time to get together over phone or Zoom to talk about your specific issues. Sometimes we need to combine a couple of different regimens in order to um, meet your specific needs. All right. Thanks so much.